chewing gum or are you chewing plastic? Let's get right into this one. A recent study in the spring of 2025, they found that chewing gum releases hundreds, if not thousands, of microplastic into the saliva. They tested five brands of synthetic and five brands of natural gums, and they found both released approximately the same amount of plastic into the saliva. Most of the plastic is released in the first few minutes of chewing the gum. So if you're the type who like to get a fresh piece of gum every like hour, you're getting more exposure, okay? Unrelated to the study, some studies are suggesting that you have seven grams of microplastic in the brain, which can lead to cognitive decline, Alzheimer's, dementia, and other brain-related issues, okay? Now, gum is really a, just a very, very, very small piece of what is going on with the microplastics. There are plastics everywhere. And there are many elephants in this room other than chewing gum. So let's get right into it. Do you have a coffee maker at home? Look at where the hot water goes through and where it's filtered out. And is that plastic or not, right? If it is, you are getting tons of exposure to plastics and chemicals related to that plastic. Plastic water bottles. This is really bad. Okay, plastic water bottles have become flimsy and you can kind of crunch them. Now, people will put a, uh, a whole container or, or multiple bottles in the trunk in the summer and they'll just take a water bottle and drink it. Worst thing ever, right? Plastic exposure from plastic water bottles is really rampant. I remember in the old days, a lot of the companies were using glass like Coca-Cola had glass bottles, right? or even like a Snapple iced tea was glass. They've all transitioned to plastic because it's cheaper. Tea bags, basically those nylon type of tea bags. Every time you put it in the hot water, you're releasing plastics, right? Microwaving plastics and boiling plastics. It just drives me crazy when you have these products where you have a piece of meat in a plastic and they put it in the water, boiling water, so they can cook it. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. Stop microwaving plastics and stop boiling. As a matter of, as, uh, boiling plastics. As a matter of fact, stop using your microwave. Cutting boards, those plastic cutting boards, every time you cut into it, right, it's getting in the food. Processed foods, just the process of doing this and packaging and all this stuff is going to have more plastics. Tap water. Unfortunately, the municipal water can't filter out all the plastics and you're going to get some in the tap water. Seafood, unfortunately, humans are destroying the ocean and there's plenty of plastic in the water from all the water bottles. Yeah, I mean, you've seen it. You've seen different videos. You just go to like all these different countries and they just dump stuff in the river, right? And hopefully it gets to the ocean or it clogs the river or stream. It's just... It's just insane. Even salt and sugar has been shown to have microplastics or nanoplastics in there. Food storage containers, really, really bad, okay? Especially if you're cooking and microwaving in them. The worst thing, K-cups. You know those little coffee pods made of plastic? You put it in your plastic coffee maker and, and put through hot boiling water right through that plastic? Greatest invention and the worst invention for our environment on our, and our health. Get rid of the K-cups, okay? Get a French press if you want a coffee, like all steel, stainless steel French press, okay? What I'd like you guys to do is please list products you use to minimize plastic. So list in the comments below that what you have done to help minimize plastic so you can help other people watching this video. Also, if you do, did all this stuff, Tell me what you're going to do in the next 30 days to improve or minimize exposure to plastic. My name is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.